Shalom, friends of Itamar. We're standing here at a very beautiful place. Imagine it all green very soon. This is how it starts. We're planting a vineyard. Today is the last day we could plant before Shemitah. So come and let's see what it's like to plant vineyards on the farms, connecting the hilltops to the Jordan Valley here on Itamar. היום אנחנו שותלים מלבק, זן של ענבים ליין, ואנחנו מקים שורשים בתוך ארץ ישראל יותר ויותר, שורשים של עם ישראל בתוך האדמה הזאת, ואנחנו מקווים שעוד תתאי קרמים, עוד ועוד ועוד שורשים, וכל מהפעולות שאנחנו עושים פה, הכנסת שורשים לאדמה של השתילים ושלנו, יביאו לחיבור יותר גדול של עם ישראל, וכל זה בזכות האנשים טובים שעזרו לנו. מהעמותה של ידידי איתמר, תודה רבה לכולם. Okay, Tomer here is holding right now one of the um, vines, one of the grape vines that can be planted. And you see, in order to plant a day before the end of the month of Av, in order to be considered an entire sabbatical year, like I'm gaining an entire year of the sabbatical cycle, you see that has to be in a gush. It has to be in a, in a um, how do you say gush in, in Hebrew? Clump. It has to be in a clump. You see the clump with the roots coming out of it? So <laughs> the clump <coughs> means that it's already took root, and already is considered a, a, a root that has a, a nice grip into the ground, into the earth. And then we plant it, and on a couple of days before the end of the month, really one day before the end of the month, but tomorrow is already coming in Shabbat, so today's the last day it can be done. And he's going to gain an entire year, because we know we have to wait altogether three years of Ola, and then the fourth year we can finally redeem the fruit and eat them. So anyway, here it goes. He's planting a planting in the land. And the mazal tov, shechiyanu v'kimanu v'giyanu l'azman hazeh. Now, if you see the hands of these girls here that are planting these vines, these grape vines in the land of Israel, are full of holy soil. This is so special. This is an everlasting planting. And everyone is involved here in building the land. There's an everlasting rooting into the land of Israel, in the land of Hashem, that will be built here, the third temple soon in our days. We are restoring the kingdom of Hashem in the land of Israel. Now, I'm about to plant this sapling. And as you know, it does not rain in Israel for six months of the summer, at least. So we rely on the drip system. Take a look at where, where it's dripping. And I'm just going to cover it and pray on it, that it grows into a beautiful vineyard in this paradise. Okay, mazel tov. It's a big shachiyanu to plant these trees. Again, I want to... As we look at the vineyard that's coming up over here, this freshly planting vineyard, um, I want to thank all those amazing friends of Itama that were involved here in supporting and helping our such an important nonprofit that has been doing so much work in building the land. We're now standing in an older grape um, area that was planted before the last Shemitah. And uh, next week we will be picking the grapes. Come, I want to show you the beautiful fruit. Hi everybody, I just want to show you what this is going to look like. Your beautiful work here today, all our wonderful friends of Itamar, that we're planting this new vineyard in your honor. I want you to see in a few years what your um, reward for your amazing handiwork is going to bring. And this is an example, fulfilling the prophecy of Jeremiah. Again, though we planted vineyards in the mountains of Sharon, literally, if you want to invest in something, invest in the profits. That's the only investment that will be forever. Wow. Thank you again. Thank you, friends of Itamar. Shalom from the mountains of Itamar. Bye-bye.